All right, so now we have a chart that you can read, and this will help you do mostly the same calculations for um, compound interest. So the, the table shows the future value of $1 compounded for n periods at rate r, and it, the formula looks like this. Okay, and FV is the same thing as future value. It's the same thing as our A, and we're just putting in $1 and 1 plus, remember we little r over n raised to the nt, and so this little, the big R here is the same thing as that fraction, and the big N is the same thing as the NT. So we've just kind of rewritten our formula a little bit, but we have to calculate two little pieces first. Um, and that's the what we're calling the big R, and that's going to be your little R over N, and then the big N, which is going to be your little N times your little T. And then this part right here, the table is going to give you the amount for, for one, one dollar. But if we have more than that, we say this much per one dollar, then you just multiply it for however many dollars you have. So if I have six thousand dollars and I know how much interest I'll earn for one dollar, I can multiply by six thousand and find out how much that six thousand was going to earn. Okay, so let's take a look at a problem and see. The rate for this, we are going to leave in its percent form. That's just a little different than what we did on the last problem. We had to convert it to a decimal. For this table, we're going to leave it as a percent. So it stays in percent form, but it is still R over N. And then the N, the number of periods, that we're going to do the N times T, just like I showed you for that exponent part. Let's look at this here. A $6,000 inheritance is put into a savings account compounded quarterly. So here we have compounded quarterly. That means my N is, yes, four times a year, good. And an 8% interest, so that means my R for this problem, I'm going to leave it as a percent because I'm using the table. And for four years, so my little T is going to be four. And the 6,000 is the amount I'm putting into the savings, so that's going to be my principal. Okay, I want to find the future value, or the A, whichever way you want to consider it. So I have future value equals, and I need to do a table lookup, but I'm going to multiply the results of that by the 6,000. And I have 1 plus my big R raised to the big N. So my big R, remember we have that right up here. The big R is the little r over the N, and we leave it as a percent again, so 8 over 4. So it's going to be 2%. Okay, and then the big N is, <clears throat> excuse me, that's right here. It's the N times T, so my little N, that's going to be 4. And my T is also 4. So I end up with 16 for the N. So I have 2% and 16. I need to do a table lookup, just like you did for the Z-scores. Similar kind of thing. Across the top are your percents. Those are your big R's going that direction, and then your big N's are going that direction. So I find my big R, which was, let's come back a little, 2% and 16. So come back up. 2%, I'm looking in this column, and 16. I'm looking where those two intersect. So if I go down, there's my value. 1 1.37279. 1.37279. There it is, 1.37279, double checking. Okay, so that is the value that I would have gotten if I had plugged, or very close to it, if I would have plugged in the R over the N and raised it to the NT, the calculations that we were just doing. Now there's a table that I can look up that piece of it, and so I know that part goes instead of this whole piece in my formula, and all I have left to do is multiply by 6,000. 
So I'm going to multiply by 6,000. I'll plug in that value from the table, 1.37279 times 6,000. And I got 8236.74. And there was nothing to round because it didn't carry out the value any further. But if I was going to invest $6,000, at the, this these rates and times, I should end up with eight thousand two hundred thirty six dollars and seventy four cents after four years. Um, then it says, how much interest did you accumulate? That is just asking if you start with six thousand and you end up with eight thousand some, how much of that was interest? Well, it's everything but the initial six thousand that you had. So you can subtract that off and I will get $2,236.74. That's the amount of interest accumulated. And we might ask that in a couple of different ways.